We're going to create 2D assets like this from a 3D asset in Unity. Create a new 3D project in Unity. In the lower right hand corner, I'm going to call my project 3D to 2D Tutorial. We will use a free asset from the Unity Asset Store for this demonstration. You can also use your own asset if you have a 3D asset and import it into Unity. In future videos, we'll use the 2D assets in the Flutter Flame game engine to create mobile apps. Select the main camera in the left hand pane and go to the portion that has the background color. Select solid color and then click on that color bar. Uh, we're going to set the alpha transparency to zero and we're going to set all the values to zero as well too. So it'll be pure black. Uh, the alpha channel is the transparency. At the top of the application, go to the window tab and then scroll, go down until you get to the package manager. In this example, I already have the asset that I want to use in the my assets, but I'll show you how to get it. By default, it says packages and project, but select my assets. And then these are the assets that are, are already downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. And we're going to use this little ghost because it's free and it has animation. You can find the assets either through the application itself or on the website. You can um, find the asset that you like and then import it. Click on the blue button that says add to my assets and then you should be at the same step that I'm at. And then you want to import it into your project. So click on that import button. This other window pops open and then we're going to import everything. Since we're here, we now have the asset uh, in our project, but go into the uh, where it says my assets and then select the Unity registry and then scroll down until you find the Unity recorder. So it just says recorder and it's from Unity. So we're also going to import the recorder, the one that's from Unity. After you import the recorder under the window tab, the general, you should have a, a drop down so that you can see the recorder manager. So let's check it out. Okay, so go to window and then go down to general. And then there's a new thing that says recorder. And then just open up that recorder window. We now have our asset in our project and we also have the tool, the recorder, that we're going to need to use to convert the 3D assets into 2D. This cute yellow ghost, it has a bunch of prefabs that's in it. So I'm going to take the yellow one and I'm going to drag it onto the left hand pane. This will center it. You can change the uh, perspective, whether it's larger or smaller, to view with the scroll wheel. So using the scroll wheel, like try to alter it until you have a reasonable view of this ye little yellow guy. So if we look at the game view, that tab up at the top, you can see that it has that nice black background that we wanted. Now I'm going to move the game view into the lower right hand corner so that we can view the game view as we're playing the game. So the with the you're going to have to eventually select the camera and then with the camera selected, we want to alter the uh, the distance to the little guy so that it basically fills the screen. We we want the the yellow ghost to be have as minimal border around it. It will save us some some time editing it out later. With the yellow ghost selected, you want to alter it so that the rotation is facing straight on to the camera. And uh, you can alter some of the other uh, tools. You can also use your mouse to do this, like on the actual character. I'm using the paint on the right hand side to get a little bit more 
precise effect like up and down we want to center this guy and have it so that the border is kind of at a minimal instead of scaling the guy to have the good perspective we're going to move the camera back and forth so that it's he's nicely framed out here we're not going to frame it with the animation so in the lower left hand panel select the animation and then pop out so just click on it and then you'll it'll kind of expand and then we're going to drag the animation onto this yellow character once the yellow character has the animation dragged onto it press the play button on the game and it's going to run the scripts to animate the guy once this yellow character is animating you know we can see that the bottom portion is being cut off a bit so i'm going to push this guy up so that he's nicely framed in, in all the frames we don't want him to be cut off here so i'm altering the position of this yellow guy um, using the position of the yellow guy not the camera i think let's go back to the recorder here and we're going to set it up before you can use the unity recorder you have to add a new recorder so in the left hand pane click on that add recorder and then we're going to do image sequence the recording mode is frame interval and the target fpf is custom we're going to set it to 10 fps because i don't want all the frames uh, in the video for the sprite sheet i just want maybe uh, you know like 10 frames a second the capture source is texture sampling it's the active camera the format is png and the alpha channel is checked off so make sure that alpha channel is checked i'm going to select a one to one aspect ratio and so it'll be square so our you know, our sprite will be square and i'm going to leave it at 720p so press play and you should get one frame because the start and the stop is at zero so this is just a test here before we generate all the frames and make sure that it's saving it in the place that you want it to you should now have a single frame for the test and it should have a transparent background you can open up in another like video or image editor like gimp to make sure that it is a transparent background change the end frame to 20 so we're going to extract 20 frames from the animation uh, sequence and let's give it a go again you should now have 20 frames from the animation and each of them should be a png with transparent background so some of these are duplicate right so from the ninth image onward it looks like it's a duplicate so image nine is a duplicate of image zero zero actually it's image 10 that's the duplicate so uh, we're going to select from image 10 all the way to the bottom which is image 20 the frame we're going to delete those so we should just have unique frames that one on the upper left has looks black on this but it's actually a transparent background you could verify this by opening up in gimp just to make sure uh, that it is a transparent background we don't want the background because it's a little difficult to edit it out so it looks nice and transparent in gimp you could crop it down more if you want to i'm just going to leave it at one to one for this next flutter game so create a subfolder called front and drop it in we're gonna have like a some type of map based game potentially with some tiles in the future i'm just trying to get some assets going here for the storyline so with the yellow guy selected on the rotation y coordinate we're going to rotate this guy 45 degrees so i'm just doing minus 45 and then that blank box that box will um, automatically do the subtraction for me 
So you can actually just put minus 45 in here, run the animation again to make sure that um, it's in the, the, right, the right style for your game. And then we're gonna extract the frames again. Now we have the uh, frames for the character going toward the left. We're going to follow the same process. Um, eventually we'll delete the redundant uh, images and we'll call this one left. Our character will only have four directions for this simplified game tutorial that we're going to do next in Flutter and Flame. Uh, so I'll go back to it and I'll delete the redundant images. To get the going right uh, motion set, animated set, we're gonna subtract 90. And he'll then be facing toward the right. And we'll do the same thing where we'll, um, we'll use the recorder and get all the frames for this guy. So press the recorder and it should have extracted the 20 frames. And let's check it out. Looks good, very satisfying. Oh, delete the redundant images. So it's probably from 10. You can, you can just see it in this view. And then delete the redundant ones, create a new folder for uh, going to the right. The flame system can either use a sprite sheet, so we could either put this in a sprite sheet or we could use the individual images as they are. Uh, and then go back to the left one and delete the redundant images. And the last step, because we only have four directions in our simplified game, will be to rotate the character an additional 135 degrees so we can see the back of the character and then we will have our, our full set. So in future videos, I will animate this using the flutter flame system and the sprite animation component. And we're going to move off of Unity and go back to flutter and flame with VS Code. This Unity portion was simply to get more character assets in 2D format for our, our games. Unity is a great platform. It's used by a lot of professionals. Um, however, I'm focused on learning Flutter and teaching Flutter uh, to my daughter. And so that's why I'm using Flame. So after this tutorial, we're gonna go back to the Flutter and Flame series and finish up our, our storyline with Akemi and I'm also preparing for this new one with this yellow ghost here, which will, which will probably have a virtual joystick controller. So subscribe to the channel for some future updates and have a great day.